everyone, today I'm going to tell you how my upright piano works. Now, let's first start with something called the lever. And these are the levers. These are actually the keys. And there are a piano piece on the piano. It's on a grand piano. A digital full keyboard, not keyboard that has a amount of keys that are less than these. Now, when you press the key, it's like a seesaw. You press the key, the other side goes up. And if you press the key, there is a pivoting side. This gets compressed there. When it raises, this is a lever there. That is, that is allowed to really spin when you release it because it's connected to this spring. You can see it gets compressed. Now, when the key raises that, this, this gets back, and then when it tries to get back, it pushes on this piece. This is called the hammer. You can see these have posts. They are a bit furry, but these places are made of wood. These places are normally black on grand pianos, but on upright pianos, they are completely not painted. All right. You can see that there is more pieces. These bits red bits this is connected to the piece that is called the hammer and there is a coated material on this piece it's called the damper you see that is from here when i pull it back it pulls on that i can't really see what's going on right there so let me see so the damper wants to get back that's done by strings over there when that stretches it stretches on the damper and then the damper comes back the damper moves all the strings but on the highest bits of notes, you can't see dampers. Wait. After this note, there is no damper for dampers for other notes. It's because the sound fades away so quickly that you can't keep hearing it. Even though there's a damper, it won't really make a difference so let's keep going you understood what happens and let me tell you about it more this pushes on the hammer the hammer stresses that that gets the damper back and then then this raises this rod raises this and this is what pushes the rope and the rope pushes on the hammer and then this holds. That's called the back jack. Similar to backpack, by the way. So on the highest bits of notes, after this note, there's no damper mechanism here. That means the sound fades away so quickly that you can't make a difference when you put dampers on. And uh, it's normal. So if you see upright candles or grand candles like that, don't worry about it because that is normal. And I'll tell you that there are three foot pedals down there. And when you 
course, this rock is sustaining the sound. That means it pulls on these five little red pieces thing. And then the lever, that lever pulls on those red pedals first, then it pulls the dampers. So it sustains the sound. The dampers mute it. strings. They are striped and you may think that these are like orange. They are orange and these are orange too. This is the thickest string. The reason why they are thick and lower notes is if you want to get higher you need shorter strings to do that. Shorter and thinner strings, and then when I get lower, we need longer and thicker strings. So you can see that these always strike three strings, and these strike two, and these ones strike one. So the reason is you strike three thin and short strings. So if you want to get lower of that, there are strings go this side and they and the string get thicker when there is orange wrapped around them. They are actually like springs. And these are like super thin str strings that look like springs, but it doesn't work far away distance. So these are not springs, they are basically strings that pass electricity, like a paperclip string. It's a bit thicker than that. You can see these go horizontal. I mean diagonal. It's called diagonal. That means they get longer. And you may notice these screws there. Those are actually screws, not nails. They are not hammered on. You can see that the spring strings are wrapped around that. So those are for tuning the piano. If it gets out of tune, it needs tune. So you have to spin these to tighten or loosen them. So that makes the sound. You can hear that the piano is a little bit out of tune. Then you spin it um, the opposite, it gets flatter, like flatter, I mean loose, and you can see that, um, wait. string. 
a single string. And we may wonder what the muting tails does. It doesn't move the hammers or the dampers. And you can see when I press this, this goes there. So the hammer can't strike the string harder if that's on the way. Those are called the curtains that are coated. You can see that it just touches it and then lets itself go, then rests on the back. I mean, back jack. If this was like this, it will be still there. And it will mute the note. So, that's why it goes a little bit far. So, that's the basics of the hammer and the strings. And the dampers and the keys. Whatever. You can see that when you shift this, it's wobbly. You could shift it to the left, only to the left, not to the right. This means you could lock it. You first shift it a little bit, you wobble it, and then press it, and I shift it to the left even more. You can see it's locked. So they are muted. They are muted. And when you release it, made by this string is twisting and when you press that the string inside it pulls that and then that slides and the spring stretches it's hooked in there so that's why the pedal goes up again that's the other reaction I don't know why whatever so it slides there when it goes down and we know what the mute pedal does and how it works a little decoration and what about this it pushes the hammers this is called the soft pedal soft pedal what it does it softens the sound of the piano Sound gets softer, but you can't really hear the difference. It will me. I could hear the difference a little bit. So we know how the pedals work and the keys. You might need to refresh. Yeah, let's start with this. There's a lever, which is the key. You press it, and the other side goes up. Press it down, other side goes up. And it's like a seesaw. And there's something which is the whipping. It's called the whipping. I didn't tell that. It raises the whipping, which raises this, and then it pushes this um, thing. And then when it pushes, the hammer goes there and then hits the string. And this is the back jack which holds it. When it is pressed, the backpack holds the hammer. Notice there's a rod and a rod for that. And then behind that is the damper. The damper means the string. Yeah. And there's another wool string which strikes it. And then when it strikes, it pulls on the damper. There is something hooked, so it goes on the other side. Can I rip up? So, and, okay, okay. And there's this piece, so when you press the key, the whipping raises that, and there's a spring behind that, not so stiff. And this is what causes it to go down. 
because it's downhill. If you look it upside down, I can't do that. Okay, so this could peel back and forth. And it pushes the hammer, strikes the string, makes sounds. And strike to the sound board so that it makes sounds. Bye everyone, this is the basics of a piano. Actually, I told you everything. Oh, what about the soft pedal? There are these fluffy stuff. Not really fluffy. So when you push the pedal, I can't see what's going on in there. So the pedal pushes that up, and then there's something that gets squeezed. And then this metal thing holds those sponges. Notice their throw there. These push the hammers. This is the rest rail. Rather the hammers rest. So that's how the soft pedal works. Bye. See you in the next video.